Tonight we have a closer look at a graphic and violent video war game that is sparking outrage even before it arrives in stores. Instead of featuring a make-believe battle, this game offers a vivid depiction of one of the fiercest battles of the Iraq War, the fight for the city of Fallujah. And many U.S. military families say the game goes too far. Bob Woodruff reports. Ready team, on me! It is billed as the closest you can get to the war in Iraq without going into combat. A virtual assault launched from the comfort of an easy chair. Our goal with the game is to help people understand a little bit of what it's like to be a Marine in a, in a modern war. Six days in Fallujah drops the player into the boots of a Marine during Operation Phantom Fury, the most intense urban warfare for U.S. troops in half a century. In the real Battle of Fallujah, more than four dozen Americans and over a thousand insurgents were killed as coalition forces captured the city. Turning the bloody fight into a video game has ignited a firestorm of controversy. When I heard about it, it was very upsetting. Karen Meredith, whose son Ken was killed in Iraq, joined a chorus of military families in fervent opposition. They fear the game will trivialize the sacrifice of their loved ones. I have this image of a bunch of guys sitting around laughing because they got killed or they didn't get killed or let's start over because uh, we can. My son didn't have that choice. RPG! Sensing a backlash, the game's publisher last month abruptly dropped out of the project. But Atomic Games is pressing on with the aim, they say, of creating an experience that is part game, part documentary. I want to ensure that this is accurate. Reed Omohundro commanded a company of Marines during the fight. He takes an E and he orients. Now he and dozens of other Marines are consultants on the project. It's not going to have his back towards the enemy. And their first hand accounts form the basis of the game's storylines. It's not a kill them all, let God sort them out type game. Get your hands up! If you make a choice that is not on the moral high ground, you shoot an innocent, for example, the game's over for you. Don't stop, keep moving! Atomic Games hopes to release Six Days in Fallujah next year. When it's done, it could be among the most historically accurate and controversial war games ever made. Bob Woodruff, ABC News, Raleigh, North Carolina.